What up guys, it's Tops, and today I'm going to be talking about the Nintendo NX that was just revealed yesterday, if this video goes up the night I'm recording it. Uh, yeah, so I didn't do a video about it the day it was released, I was kind of busy with some other stuff too, and I already had a video scheduled to upload anyway, so I thought I'd just give a day for the hype to kind of like die down a little bit, so I'm not just completely overhyped when I'm talking about it and uh, record the video tonight. So this is just gonna be my thoughts on it. A day has passed, I am no longer like screaming about it thinking it's the most insane thing ever. Although it, it is still quite amazing in my opinion. Um, I'm just not gonna like overreact to it or anything like how I did when I first saw the trailer because that trailer, when I first saw that, I thought it was like the best thing in the world. I haven't even played a console in a long time now. Um, Nintendo or not really, I haven't really been playing anything, in fact, I played my Wii U for the first time today in like, six months, at least, like, like something like that ridiculous, like, um, that's just because there aren't really that many games on the Wii U to be honest, even first party games from Nintendo, and there's like no third party games anymore at all, so, yeah, that's my thoughts on that system, but, uh, I really think the NX has, or I, I gotta got Gotta stop calling it the NX because it is the Nintendo Switch. They um, announced the full name. The Nintendo Switch, I feel like it's gonna have more third party support just from what we've seen in the trailer with Skyrim and NBA both in there. Um, with a concept like this, that it's like a home console that you can also take portable to, it is a gimmick, but it's not like a um, gimmick that makes it harder for third party developers to make games on the console, I feel like. Um, because before with the Wii and the Wii U, like, third-party developers would have to implement either motion controls for the Wii, and for the Wii U, they'd have to, like, make it work with a touchscreen controller, like, where it's two screens. Now, yeah, there is the, uh, controller that I think is touchscreen, I don't know if that's confirmed, though. Although, um, what I did see, though, was that if it is touchscreen, it's most likely not going to influence most games. Most games probably won't even really use the feature too much, which is a good thing, because... This way, third-party developers can just develop games for the Switch like it's a normal console, pretty much, except for the fact that it's portable, but that doesn't really make them have to change the game at all, whereas with the Wii, you know, they'd have to make it work with motion controls, and when it would be on the Wii U, they'd have to make it work, like, as a two-screen setup, like, almost like a DS game, but, you know, with the gamepad and the TV. Although I did like the concept of the Wii U, I, I don't think it was really done right they kind of like forced it in some games and i don't think it should be all games have to use like the two screens like that what i would like to see from the switch is maybe a possibility to do something similar to the wii u where you have like one screen in your hand and like the other thing on the tv maybe for like some things in some games i feel like that could be of some use um and i don't know if nintendo will implement that or not but yeah, I, w I would like to see that, but I don't know, even if that's not the case, it really doesn't matter. It's just, it looks like such an amazing system, um, just because the fact that you bring it with you anywhere, and it's HD, although some people said in the trailer it looked like the frame rate would kind of dropped when it was portable. I didn't really notice that too much, but I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait and find out. As for battery life, that is one of the concerns of mine, uh, because it probably won't be too long. That, that console does not look too big. And being portable, I do not think that it will have a very long battery life. Probably like only like a few hours or so, I'd feel like that would be the most you can get out of it without using an additional accessory. But you know what? It's made mostly for home anyway, I think. The portability of it is just a little bit nice of a feature that's really amazing. So if you do want to take it on the go, I feel like, yeah, you probably should invest into like a battery pack or something like that to increase the battery life. But we already got to see a few new games, um, we got to see a new Mario, just seconds of it, but that got me really excited. We got to see what looks like Mario Kart 8, but there are more characters in it, so I don't know, I feel like maybe that might just be like a port of Mario Kart 8, but with all the DLC, because we got to see a DLC uh, track, and maybe like a couple more characters, because it looks like we had King Boo in there, um, and he was definitely not in Mario Kart 8. Then we also... Um, we're shown two items, so I don't really know what that is all about. Maybe it is a new Mario Kart completely, it is a Mario Kart 9 that just runs under the same engine as 8 did, and they didn't really bother to change any of the textures or like anything yet. Like they're so early in development that they just kind of kept it the same as 8 for now. I, I really don't know. I couldn't tell you guys to be honest. But 
We got to see that, um, and we got to see Splatoon ported over, which is interesting because this is another thing, like what I brought up before, where I would like to see you still be able to use the two screens separately. Um, Splatoon used the gamepad as like a map of the whole game, whereas you could just like look at the game on the TV then, and we don't really have that feature now that um, the Switch can only use one screen at a time if that is the case. Um, you can't, you know, like both look at the map and then play the game too. I really don't know how that's gonna work out. I mean, they could just do what like Call of Duty does and just have the map be in like the top left corner of the screen, or it wouldn't really block too much of the main view, which is probably what they will do to be honest, but I don't know. I guess we'll see when the game comes out. I'm just excited that we're getting either a remastering or a new Splatoon game and the same for Mario Kart and the new 3D Mario game that looks like it could be good, but I mean, we really only had like a few seconds of it, so. Can't be too sure. I was a little bit scared at first because it looked a lot like 3D World, but looking back at the trailer, it looks like the camera angle kind of like changes around and follows you from behind, which automatically means that it's not like 3D World since 3D World had that kind of like set camera the entire time. Um, so it seems like it will be like a single player adventure game and that would be great. You know, they could actually do co-op with uh, multiple switches, I guess, if like each person has a console and like that way it could be like split screens but everyone has their own device to like look at the screen so they could all be like very different parts of the stage at once i mean i guess they could do that um i don't think they're going to though i think maybe two player they could for something like that but for a like real mario game um they probably wouldn't have four players i, I don't i don't think nintendo would they could but i really don't see them doing it um but yeah, I mean, the concept is pretty cool. Some people seem to be a little bit skeptical about like the controller um, variations, like how it's the things on the side that like snap in. I think it's kind of a cool concept. Um, I know that third parties are definitely gonna develop new like side pieces to go on for the controls. So if you want the traditional D-pad, you probably will be able to get it. Some third party will probably make one that you can put on there. Um, and for like co-op where you like both use like one of the side things as like your own controller i only think that'll be in like a handful of games like mario kart maybe like if they make a new super mario bros because those games you could use just like two buttons to play with but for other games i think they are going to allow the um opportunity to use those pro controllers uh, or as i don't think that's their official name yet but um use those like xbox looking like controllers um like more than one per console i i would have to assume that they would do that when it's on the go like being able to use more than one of those controllers if you want to instead so yeah i mean that's just kind of like my thoughts and like i guess some opinions on some things I, I can't really think of too much more to talk about there is amiibo functionality confirmed which i think that's great i'm pretty sure nintendo already said that though when they first teased the nx so that's not really anything new I mean, nothing was if you followed the leaks because everything that was leaked was like pretty much exact to the point, um, which is kind of cool. But at the same time, I was a little bit less surprised. I'm not gonna lie though, I was very surprised because I did not expect leaks to be true. But uh, yeah, I guess that's it. I can't really talk about it too much more without just rambling on. So those are my thoughts to the Switch. I think it's gonna be a great console if Nintendo does it right. And I'm kind of excited to see the new games that are gonna be out on it. Um, so yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. It really helps out. Thank you guys so much for the support. This is Tops, and I'm out.